Wizard World Park. I think we all remember Jojo Siwa from, I don't know, Disney, Nickelodeon. Very, very cute, loving our childhood. I think something broke. <laughs> I saw her TikToks, I've seen her music. Okay, no, I haven't reacted to her music, so I haven't particularly seen it, but I, I've heard people flinch out about it. So let's see what broke. <laughs> so I'm sure some people watching this video will be aware of who Jojo Siwa is. Go subscribe to Jamari, bro. Go subscribe to Jamari. This is his video, bro. Is She has been around for quite some time now, with her career just recently getting to that decade milestone. I've never known much about her. Besides the fact that she went viral for dancing like a maniac, she became rich from selling hair bows to kids, and I do remember she used to act... What's in the hell? ...absolutely insane in her videos. Jojo, welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, today I am at the Emily Lee Dance Company. And kids used to love Jojo back in the day. She was dominating YouTube with massive collabs and huge numbers. And one thing I didn't know about her was that she was pretty much bred to be a star, like some sort of human racehorse. Action. Music is my life. Look, all kinds of music. But mom has a problem. With some stuff on radio, so she gave me an iPod protection can't be cool. This was made even more apparent when she would appear on the TV show Dance Moms. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that I'm here right now. I am super excited. Jess and Jojo come in with a couple big bows on your kid's head a couple rhinestones and you think you know what's going on. To me, anyone with a parent who wants them to be famous is already somewhat in danger because even if they achieve it, that is usually not a recipe for a well-adjusted- I didn't know all this about Jojo. Wait, give me a second. I need to check something out. To an adult yeah, later in life. In Even look at someone like Tiger Woods who was a child prodigy whose father was very hard on him when it came to the sport of golf. And even though he was immensely successful and was looking to be the greatest golfer of all time, that immaturity and arrested development from not getting a true childhood would later on completely mess up his life. And what the hell happened to Tiger Woods? Wait, 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 did I miss something? What's been going on in the world? Tiger Woods has problems. For Jojo, obviously, she would eventually go viral with children, and she would even sign a deal with Nickelodeon to yeah, appear on some of their shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're being so weird. What? I am? Are you, like, going through puberty? What? Ew! No! This is a very similar story that we've seen with a lot of child actors and other people in the entertainment industry. She was everywhere back then dominating the kids market, she had various products, and she was raking in millions of dollars on her dance tours. Eventually At this all that attention goes away. point she also had a ton of songs with tens of millions of views that no one over the age of 6 has ever heard, but nonetheless, she was very successful. This would continue on for years, and eventually she would lean more into singing with her group, and she was even a judge on the show So You Think You Can Dance. So on the outside, I'm sure she felt very successful, but I could also see how she could be one of those people who would have a hard time with their identity growing up because she she missed her childhood, bro. She missed her childhood, and that's the problem with all these um child stars, bro. Like, if you've been training to be this thin, which is why it's surprising that Tiger Woods has an issue. But like, bro, he missed his childhood, bro. Chasing his dream, chasing his his parents' dream type stuff but like I don't, I don't know much about the type of wood story but jojo bro she missed her childhood my guy she was doing this and then the way that then with nickelodeon acting singing judging fashion selling business i'm like there was no time for her to be jojo siwa outside of the cameras and that would mess you up as you grow up she was stuck in the persona of a child as her job for such a long time. Above yeah. this, she was constantly surrounded by influencer adults and not great role models. Mm. Two of her best friends were creepy Shane Dawson, who looks like he smells like Subway, and of course that weird <laughs> clown caricature of a woman who was sending her kid fans her panties. She would also goes on on this internet of our place spend quite a bit of time with james charles so she are you, 
I, now you know what i'm not surprised anymore i'm no longer surprised as to what has been going on in her life late recently right james charles the dude that smells like hamburgers the other one was sending children panties now nah. I'm not surprised. He was pretty much out here assembling the Avengers of creepy adults as people to look up to. Either way, JoJo has slowly been trying to change her identity from kid-friendly internet star to sex icon, I guess? Because what? based on her new music video, that definitely looks to be the case. And I have to tell you guys just right off the bat, what you are about to witness is an absolute masterclass in how not to rebrand your career from child star to adult. I mean, this is what JoJo herself had to say about this attempt to rebrand her entire life. No one has made this dramatic of a change yet. No one has made, in my generation, this extreme of a switch. And I am the first in the generation. It is very scary, but... That's a bold thing to say, JoJo. That's a boat. Now I get it. You've been stuck as a kid. That's your entire personality. That's your entire brand. Now, if being the most lovable, the most pinky, the most cute, the cutest kid is your entire identity, your entire livelihood, your entire career, everyone grows up. How old is she now? 20 something? Bro, everyone grows up. So that identity, that persona isn't going to hold up with the audience with the target audience anymore you feel me so i don't know changing obviously you have to change even people like the rock roman reigns the bra guy um will smith they had to change their character over time so tell me it's it's the you are the first of the generation Ugh. it has to be done bro if you don't do it you fall, you fade into irrelevancy someone's gotta do it so jojo is talking as though she's some sort of pioneer She's saying that no one's ever made a change like me, and no one's ever done it so extreme. And this is actually the change that she's talking about, guys. Where she's gonna go from this girl who looks to be like in her mid-teens, but she is still out here portraying herself to be, and straight up dressing like she's seven years old. And she's gonna go from this to this, where to me she looks like a knockoff. Nah, yeah, you're the first, my guy. You definitely are the first. Well, who goes from pink to black? <laughs> off Gene Simmons. I mean, don't get me wrong. I know she's trying to be like sexy with this outfit or maybe Adults. different, but she's really just giving me the same energy as those weird kids who would wear a tail back in the day to school, have it hanging out the back of their pants. Like, what the f are you doing People i just really that. think that everything she's trying to do here is simply not working and so this change in rebrand is going to come with a new style of music and so along with that weird outfit she was wearing jojo siwa would then present her newest song karma So just from the first couple of frames, you guys can kind of see what's going on right off the bat. She was a bad girl. She did some bad things. She's on her evil arc. I'm sure some of you noticed the various women that JoJo was going to be hooking up with in this video. Basically, she's trying to make herself look like, yes, I'm sexy. Women want to kiss me. I mean, does this look like a well-adjusted adult to you guys? Why, why would you say it like that, bro? Well-adjusted adult, nah, you would, nah, you, nah, Jamari, you wrong. You are, you, you got something personal, like, you got a personal beef with this girl, bro. Guys, now obviously I cannot be playing the entire music video for y'all, but I will be showing you some little clips and frames, and I know it's like trying to be this thing, but to me, like, her and this girl are really just given, like, that movie. Nah, it's given. It's given. Nah, I gotta guess something. It's given. What's the name? Um, predatory vibes. I'm coming. Like, bro, she still she still looks like a kid to me. Now doing all this. While looking like a kid to me, just doesn't sit right to me at the end. Like, bro, 
Why was <sighs> movie Blades of Glory? Okay, the final act where they're doing the half lotus or whatever the fuck it's called. These outfits are either giving me that energy or they remind me a little bit of like a shark boy and lava girl type thing. So they're on this island, they're kissing, and then all of a sudden she's on a boat with some other chick. Like the music video itself hardly makes any f***ing sense. The whole point is just to show her hooking up with different girls. So they're all looking around, Jojo is the pro- She's, she, she's been a bad girl, she's done some bad things. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I gotta react to that video, bro. I gotta check that video out. I gotta check that. You people been going crazy on the internet on that video, man. Check out my reaction for that video. I, bro, would I do it now? I think I'll do it after this video. Eyes, okay. She can't keep her eyes or her hands seemingly on just one person. They all want JoJo, okay? They all want to taste. She's over here putting people in a fucking headlock, okay? She's <laughs> holding that poor girl's cranium just like a damn football like she's gonna run right through the a gap and i'm sure some of you guys have noticed this by now but i'm not a lesbian but i will say there is nothing sexy about this to me first of all she has no lips and it almost looks like jay leno's grandson is going in for the kill hey i better chill out though because the last you know you know one to straight people always gonna say straight men right off lesbians are the sexiest people on the planet Jojo is not giving that energy any way, shape, or form. <laughs> Got to talk bad about Jojo Siwa. Well, he fell off pretty fast. And so the rest of this video is just kind of them dancing around. She wants her, she can't have her. <laughs> nah, man, nah. Okay, first <laughs> off, when she's coming out of that water like that. Bro, stop showing me this video. I have to react to this joint, bro. Stop showing me the she video. She looks like fucking Pennywise the Clown right there. <laughs> and these couple of frames Fox. have to be the funniest attempt to try and be sexual I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> she looks Yo, like crawling up. Aquaman got beaten water. <laughs> up. It's just nasty, okay? It just makes me cringe. It all comes off as beyond for. Now, you see the thing here? Yeah? The thing is. She she is not going to move from what she was to being sexy like that. I'm gonna keep it a buck because her entire identity has been a kid, being the most lovable kid on the planet. That's how that has been her entire identity. You do not just go from that to to OF. Nah, bro. Come on, bro. What are you? Come on. People are going to look at it like. This has got to be on some predator shit. You feel me? Like, I'm not saying she can't do it. I'm saying it's not going to hit, like, click. You know, she's not going to go from goddamn child superstar to Cardi B overnight. I'm sorry, no chase on Cardi, but, like, you know her music video be going crazy. But, like, she's not going to do that. Right now, I feel uncomfortable watching this, but I know she's mature enough to do whatever she wants to do, but it still makes me uncomfortable. Forced. Like, no one wants to see this baby dinosaur stomping her feet around on the beach, okay? What island is this, by the way? Yeah, this is just a scene from the Blades of Glory. And so I'll spare you guys a little bit, okay? She kisses her, then she kisses her. The aggressive gyrating of their hips over and over is just weird. It's basically one of the worst things I've ever seen. To me, I think she was kind of trying to have, like, her Miley Cyrus wrecking ball moment. You know, that whole era where Miley was getting naked, kissing girls, cut her hair real short. You know, for Miley, that was, like, a major success to go from being that, like, very youthful, kid-centric. On the opposite, that did it was Miley Cyrus, but it did not happen overnight for Miley Cyrus, bro. I think Miley Cyrus hit the peak of that in like 2018, 2019, 2020. Now, consider when Hannah Montana was shot. From then, she started shifting her personality, her persona, all that joint. From there, all up to 2019, 2018, 2020, bro. Like, bro. It's not going to happen like this. She can, Jojo can do it, but Jojo, it's going to take more than just one music video and wearing a Darth Vader for women's themed costume on the red carpet, bro. Hannah Montana figure to being taken more seriously as an adult. We've seen Justin Bieber do the same thing, mm -hmm. but Jesus Christ, for Jojo, it ain't working. And it, it took it took them time they started slowly introducing it jb got married people started seeing him he started doing things that made people see him. he started dressing more maturely he started doing things slowly that made people see him more and more as an adult 
you don't just go from wearing pink on Tuesday and then wearing black pants on Wednesday, on Friday and say, yes, I've been a bad girl. I've done some bad things. Bruh, come on. You literally sold pink bowls to children. It's funny that she claims she's so different and she's so unique, but she goes perfectly with this video from the early 2000s. Green guest on my podcast? Oh my gosh. I mean... Honestly, let's spice things up. One of my exes. Oh? Now, if that voice right there could not be the next. I was literally allowed to talk about the voice. Next Bart Simpson. I don't know who's the right person for the job. You've already named your children? Fully. Fully. <laughs> really? I, have, I actually have two tattoos dedicated to them. Um, this one's dedicated to my baby girl one day. Her name is uh, Freddie. Then this is dedicated to twin boys, Eddie and Teddy. Um, <laughs> Freddie, Eddie, and Teddie. Freddie, Eddie, and Teddie. I got. I want awesome. three babies. I have my sperm donor lined up. Um, he, Wait, where's the sperm donor? You already donor? got it lined up. Is the sperm donor right. a friend? I will tell. I'll tell. I'll tell you. I make great I'll kids. You. I mean, you, um, <laughs> I yes. Mean, is he here friend. today? Maybe. <laughs> I, um, I, um, I, don't. I mean, she is making me cringe on a whole nother level. And those tattoos she has were absolute trash. Those look like those tattoos that someone would go and get on like Friday the 13th for $13. In anticipation for this music video, she would actually go out and get her car wrapped. Oh. Yeah, we definitely are making the wrong people famous here. Someone would later notice her very recognized. Bro, is that a uterus? You just disrespected my. High school vehicle, cutting them off in public. <laughs> it's gotta be just about the ugliest car I've ever seen. And she's still out here with creep number one and creep number two. I mean, obviously, after seeing all this stuff with the Quiet on the Set documentary and everything that has come to light with these people who are, you know, child stars or kind of bred to be entertainment talent, you do have to wonder what's going on in the background of someone like this life. So we don't want to be too harsh, but. Too harsh. She's crashing out. She is crashing the hell out. She is on the path to ultimate, ultimate crash outness. Jesus Christ, this rebrand was not it. I want to know what you guys was, think about her down below. It was too one. It was too ninety, bro. She just did puke power. Like, bro, it was too quick. I remember when she posted a video on TikTok and she was like this, and the people were reacting like, "Is that Jojo Siwa? Like, is that?" Jojo Siwa got tattoos. Like people were literally like Jojo Siwa got tattoos, bro. She did not. She did not even put on warning lights, bro. She did not seize her shift. She did. Not, she just went overnight. I'm just crashed out. Pow. I know we gotta have at least one former Jojo Siwa fan in the comments, or like maybe your little sister liked her or some shit. Either way, y'all let me know what you think. As always, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like and subscribing, but. Go sub to go sub to Jamari, bro. He's a goat. Y'all should check out his channel, bro. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all his channel. Jamari, go sub to Jamari, bro. He's an amazing. He makes amazing videos, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. But look, Jojo Siwa, our generation's ultimate crash out. I can't wait till she rebrands. She rebrands the rebranding back to pink.